Hello everybody, my name is Psychway and welcome to Snake Eyes, well the demo of it at least. This is a horror thriller role-playing game with survival elements. Oi! It was a mouthful, I was trying to remember what it said. There's actually a fair bit of story to it as well. I saw it on Steam and it was really interesting. Currently the uh, release date says to be announced, so I don't even know when this is coming out. Um, I'm playing this on December 15th, so when I'm playing it. On June 6, 1944, the dead awakened across all of Earth. The year is now 1954, so 10 years later, and the only surviving governments are those willing to make extreme sacrifices. In Italy, the Catholic Church founded the Sanctum G Imperium, Sanctum Imperium, sorry, hard to read that font, and retains control of the country thanks to Templars and Inquisitors tasked with full eradication of all that threatens order, be it dead or living. Brother Rosano Mazzoni and his Inquisit Inquisitorial Oh god, words I'm not familiar with. Ah. Compromising notary, notary Rudolf Stefani. Florentine Florentian Excubitor. Um, I feel like I'm trying to summon something. And lay brother I'm assuming that's a T Terziani. I've been traveling for days. I cannot read some of these words. I'm not familiar with them. I don't see them in my day-to-day -day life, so of course I'm not going to be familiar with them. A crucial duty awaited them in Ravenna and had led them there on a road traversing the Ap Apennines and crossing a bend. I'm making myself seem uh, freaking bleh. Crossing abandoned villages which had fallen prey to the dead after the doomsday. Ooh, that's a nice loading sign. That is trippy. That's a lot of snakes. Snake, snake, snake. Okay. From this map, you will manage your group movement. Click and drag the mouse to navigate the map. Use mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Click on a location to move there. You will decide which characters are left behind and the speed of the travel. Be careful. Traveling costs time and vigor. I can zoom out. Uh, seems. Oh, oh. Okay. Not a bad sized map. I, I am assuming this is just like part of it. And that looks like a river, so. Let's go. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so slow. Okay, these are my characters I have now. Hey, look, it's a little old man. I can. Oh, no, no. How about this? And two, in two turns available in the morning. Oh, God. So that's default. Let's go with the slowest. Oh, okay, that is the slowest. Let's go with slowest. That was the slowest? Jesus. This is the game. This is the game story. Click on the portraits to decide who talks. Click on the option to continue the story. It came to a fork in their path, a majestic oak rising in its middle. Seemingly defined the ruined and overgrown roads. One road went west towards Ravina, the other is southeast climbing the steep hills. They held back their horses, pondering their next move. I might get a better look of the area. Come on, let's go. Oh. Wait, do I only have the two of you? Okay. Might be I might get a better look of the area. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go, said Mazani spurring the horses. Okay. Um, wait, what? No, hang on. Might get a better look at the area. Uh, of the area from up there, said Altinamo, pointing at the oak. A delicate breeze rustled the foliage while they decided on who was going to climb. I'm too old for these juvenile stunts, placidly commented Stefani, shaking his head. I'll have a bit of you up there. I climb quicker than you. I climb quicker than you, but my sight is not as good as yours, Altinamo. Agreed Levetti with a shrug. She stretched her arms and legs, then began her climb with sharp and precise movements, quickly reaching the top of the tree. I see a villager's roof along the road leading southeast. There's smoke rising from the chimneys. That's a good thing, she commented before turning west. Curses, it seems the bridge to Ravini has collapsed, and there are people along the riverbank. I'm not trusting that if that's that, uh, there's people on the riverbank. 
A slight breeze rustled the leaves on the oak as they pondered their next choices. We're still heading to the bridge. I say we should head to the village. Let's head to the village. If there's smoke coming from the chimneys, then it should be people that are alive. If there's people along the riverbank of a collapsed bridge, then there's a chance they might be the zombies or it could be people. But we'll go with the village. I say we should head to the village. We can ask for information and resupply, suggested the notary, pointing at the road leading southeast. And we will be heading to the village. Okay, so I want to save as much vigor as I can, so I'm just gonna keep going with the slower one. The road continued in front of them. Okay, well let's let's continue. I am for the is of the essence, said the executive executive bar. I, be, 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 I can't talk. Okay, we're at the fields. After several minutes on the path, the gentle bleak hills gave way to fields cultivated by farmers. Some raised their heads to look at the outsiders, but soon went back to their work. Only a man leaning on a wooden stick and wearing a hat followed them with his gaze from the edge of the road. Not too far away, they could see a village's roof. Roofs. A place in which to rest and gather information. We're looking for the simple father. I don't know. We'll ask, the, we'll ask them for some information. I'll ask them for some information. They'll know for sure where we are, suggested Rodolfo, pointing at the farmers and approaching the one keeping an eye on them from the edge of the road. Hello there. Quite a hot day, isn't it? I'm not sure what that is. Um, where are we? Greetings, good man. We are just passing by, but the bridge to the Ravina has collapsed. Where are we? The elder notary asked, fiddling with his notebook. The farmer looked at them one by one, taking note of their weapons and clothes, especially those of the Sotinum Inquisitress, leading he clearly hesitant. At the end of the road, you'll find Sant- uh, I'm not even going to attempt to read that, the farmer answered. If I were you, I'd go look else. I'd look elsewhere, but I want to go on. Speak with Don Avati. He's in charge. The farmers were still working the fields with their slow but, motion but sure motions of those who knew their land. Yeah. The old farmer was at the edge of the road, gazing. He greeted them with a nod of his head as they passed him by. Let's go. I am of, of the essence. Okay, so... Could I, like, skip all of this? I, I, I don't want to march, but we're going to we're gonna do a march. Double the vigor. And boom. Okay. Upon entering the town, the place was empty, aside from two large men, their appearances intimidating, but not particularly bright. Why, hello, travelers, I am Armando, and this one here is Fernandino. Fernandio. I don't know if I said that right. What's your business here? One of them said, well, the other, Fernandino, kept glowering at, glowering at the newcomers and picked up his double barrel. Ooh, don't do that. Where can we find the simple father? Why are you the one talking? Where can we find the simple father and the castigator father? I'd much appreciate being able to speak with them immediately, said Rosano while glaring at them coldly. Donavanti's in the church, no other priest in town. Armando answered sniffing, sniffling. We're the ones helping him keep to uh, helping him to keep the peace around here. We are his probaviri. Oh, okay. I was about to point at the church. He was about to point at the church on the opposite side of the square when a group of farmers rushed to the gate, screaming, "Dead! Dead in the fields! We must fight them!" Okay, so how does this work? Select an action among the ones left. Click on the action target. Click on the action target. The distance and health of the character will change the difficulty. Difficulty can be normal, easy, or hard, and it is represented with one card. Two cards or two cards and a skull, respectively. Okay. Well, you have a gun. So, you. Okay, what? Well, draw two cards. What am I doing? The stars. The action succeeds better than expected. The character will gain stability. The action fails. An enemy deals damage. I will choose this one. Why would I not? Defeated. Of course I would use the shotgun on him. Wait, what? Okay. So it's your turn. You have a sword. 
a gun. Try blind. Bonus on the next action with a rifle. Shooting with a revolver, it is effective at medium range. Let's go with you. Draw two cards. The Fool. The action succeeds better than expected. If you draw this card, the deck reshuffles. The action succeeds as expected. Okay, we'll go with as expected. Mushki, you're not defeated, but you did lose three health. So, you're now low on health. You... What is this? Insight. Bonus on the next party action. Let's do that then. Draw a card. The action succeeds, but an enemy will deal a little damage. Yeah, kind of figured. Uh, there we go. Incited, incited, incited. This is interesting. It's an interesting battle system. Ow! Ah, uh, you took some damage. Emmy! Oh no, he's stunned. Okay, so you have a rifle. Taking aim. Okay. Effective at long distance. Draw two cards. The Fool, the Emperor. But the character moves closer to the enemy. Oh, that is a creepy card. Ah, uh, let's do this one. Bushki, you're defeated. The old man's got some fight in him, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, you can only defend, so... Let's draw a card. This card drawing thing is really interesting. I gotta say. Okay. Um, melee attack with a sword is effective at short and medium. So this is kind of shortish medium range, so... The devil. The action fails. An enemy deals terrible damage, lowering the character's stability. I'm good. The Pope. The action fails. The character is stunned and they move far away. Oh, no. I would rather take the stun. No, I failed that one. Okay, you're next, buddy. You got a revolver, so hopefully we can get something good. The action succeeds as expected. Is that lady zombie biting out his chest? Lovely. Uh, we'll go with as expected. There, three damage. Okay. Not bad, not bad. You have your rifle. So let's use it again. The action fails. The action fails. Crap. On the, uh, on the text, the weapon jams. On the text. Oh, both of these are the same. Oh, no. You just move closer. I don't know. And I don't take damage. Missed. Yeah, it jams. Click, click, click. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. This is, I gotta say, though, this is actually really fascinating. Okay, we're gonna try the axe. The guns aren't always gonna work, so... Haha! -ha! It's an axe! How does it jam? You're gonna deal some damage to him. I don't know what that means. Oh, wait, what? Why did you attack him? Damn it. Okay. Revolver. Okay. Better than expected. Yes, please. Defeated! Yeah, that's how I like it. I like I, I I'm actually really interested. The combat was cruel and the and they were victorious. Finally, the dead were lying harmless on the ground. Uh let's figure out what happened. Let's go quick, let's see what they have. Ooh, yes, let's loot them. Take all. Except their eyes. The horror of what killed them was left a mark on their visage. They didn't simply drown, pointed at Stefani, studying the expression of the once dead. They came to the town's gate. A couple dozen ma masonry houses were with only a low palisade protecting them from the horror of the dead. The gate led directly to the main square. In front, in front of a house, a young child played with a wooden spinning top. She sang softly, crouched below the, before the door. <coughs> When your hands run, when your hand runs water through, the witch is there with you, with the grin of a freak. She'll send you diving in a kick, run, run, and don't look back. If you see her crawling in the muck, who knows what she's singing about? Let's simply get to the church. Just rhymes. I'll go with yours. Who knows what she's singing about? Levetti wondered aloud while looking at the child. Getting closer, she heard the rest of the song. Yes, you should pick up your pace unless you want to kiss her face. From the river she looks up, always chasing, never stops. When she stops singing, the child smiled at them before resuming play with the spinning top. Who taught you that song? I feel like this is important. Who taught you that song? asked Vilma. Vilma! 
sweetly, bending closer to the child. Mother did. She simply answered. Without raising her head, she kept looking at the toy, spinning hypnotically at the ruined on the ruined cobblestone. And why did she teach you that? Vilma insisted with a gentle tone. Because she doesn't want me to get close to the river. It's dangerous there. Her eyes met the exubitors, and with cons conspiratory tone, she added, The witch lives there. Then, as if nothing had happened, she swept up the wooden toy and ran inside the house, singing again. Let's just go to the church, Azani said matter-of-factly, turning her horse. That's a her? Past the square towards the small building. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to sound like that. I just didn't realize that it was a her. Donavati waited near the church's entrance. He was overweight and a short white. His short hair was white, but he still looked full of energy. He smiled politely, his arms open and welcoming. Welcome to our little community. Not many travelers visiting on us. Yes, he said, smiling. He raised a hand, inviting the Inquisitor to come in. Please, brother, may I offer you and your companions a glass of wine as a token of hospitality? Donavati welcomed them into the sacristy. Sacristy. I can't say it. Not even gonna try. Inviting them to sit while he gathered enough glasses and poured wine for all of them. Cheers, he said with his wide smile drinking from his glass. Tell us about Saint Ezekiel, please. I have important questions. Yeah, this person. Apparently that's a girl? A lady? I didn't know that. That's an odd painting, father. That's an odd painting, father. Stefani observed, pointing to a depiction of Saint Sebastian, his body dripping with blood hanging from the wall. Ah yes, it's one of those horrors painted by Nicola Castagolani. That insane Dauber died nine years ago. Donavetti commented, curling his lips and immediately averting his gaze from the painting. Why don't you just remove it? You don't like it, why don't you just remove it? Donavetti shrugged in response. It was already there when I came here. Many in town appreciated Nicola's work. I couldn't stomach going against my new people just because of an ugly painting. Should... Okay, well, let's talk about something else. Uh, tell us about Saint Ezekiel, please. Uh, ter what the heck? Terzin then gently <laughs> urged. What piques your interest when it comes to this little town? Don Vati politely asked, fiddling with his glass. I have to warn you, though, I came to this village only eight years ago because it was lacking a guide. All I know pre previous to that is from local gossip. We heard a song concerning a witch, uh, said Vilma without touching her glass. You mean the river witch? Donavati laughed. I go near the river every week and I have seen no witch. The priest took a long sip of wine. Same can be said of the fish, sadly. Why are you the only one in charge? We should talk about something. Oh, ouch. Hang on. Ow. Uh, woo. Is there no castigator father? Asked the Inquisitor, just approving of such a deliberate violation of Papel laws. Papel laws. Donavati kept his composure. Who would live in such a remote village? Myself and my two Proby Viri, Armando and Fernandino, are more than enough for these few sheep, he explained, waving his hand as if to deflect the question. Uh, still, this is a violation of the uh, Holy Roman Church's decrees, Judge Mazzani, without beating around the bush. A tense silence fell on the room, which the priest broke after a full minute, smiling warmly. I'll make sure to correct that, brother. Talk about something else. I have important... Oh, there's no wine left, but I have some walnut liquor. Anania Macadente makes this. It's delicious, Don Avanti assured, fetching a thin bottle. I have important questions. Okay. The priest lay back on his chair, smiling. It is within my ability. I'll be glad to help you. Ask away. I think we have nothing left to ask. The bridge to Ravani has collapsed. The dead that attacked us. Uh, the bridge collapsed. The bridge to Ravani... Ravena... I've been pronouncing that very wrong. Has collapsed. Is there any other way to cross the river? Asked Mazani. Well, there's a way, yes. You could use the small rowboat I own down at the docks, Donavati mused aloud. Then he added, I can lend it to you, but you have to wait until tomorrow morning. Sounds great. Maybe where should we meet? Oh, you can find my rowboat near the riverbank, but wait for me to arrive before you use it. You know, it's a bit unbalanced, smiled Donavati. 
In that case, we need a place. In that case, we need a place to pass the night, Father. Can you help us? Mazani asked the priest. He stood silent for a while, then answered, Of course, there's an abandoned house at the end of the village. The door is open, but the rooms are still well kept. Or you could encamp. I think we have nothing left to ask. The dead dad attacked us. Were they from your town? Asked the notary, trying to be as tactful as possible. Don Avati took a deep breath and crossed himself. Thank God, no. They must have been brought here by the river or drowned to death while attempting to wade it. No one from my flock wanders that far from the village. Too dangerous. I think we have nothing left to ask, the Inquisitor said. Tell us about St. Ezekiel, please. I have important questions. We won't bother you any longer. Thank you for your hospitality, Father. We won't bother you any longer, said Stefani, leaving the church. Okay, so we have a house, store, South Riverside Cemetery, barracks, and then there's a house over here. Now, am I able to... Okay, nope. I'm not restarting. No! Welcome back. I um, I paused the game as you saw it, and I thought the close meant close the pause menu because I was seeing if there was a save feature, which there wasn't. I am back to the beginning. So I was going to leave this episode here anyway, but that has been... Uh, Snake Eyes, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video as much as I did recording it, don't forget to slice that like button down below. Now, I want to point out some a uh, couple things. This game is actually kind of interesting. If you're into a bit slower paced game, then I do recommend this because when it comes out or just play the demo for yourself. Um, but it is actually really interesting because you have an element of storytelling. It's kind of like a visual novel in a sense, but you also have ma a map, uh, like a world map that you can explore. And the combat system is actually really unique in a sense, because I've I've never played a game that had a combat system quite like that. It's kind of interesting. Uh, this game would also work really well on mobile, to be honest, and I don't know if they plan to put it on mobile. Also, the houses are actually like 3D models, which is actually kind of cool too. Like this whole map is actually 3D, a 3D model, which is really interesting. I like that. So I can honestly say that I personally do like this game. Like it's really interesting. I, I, just, I don't know how many times I just said like and interesting. So I have strike that the, all those specific little words out and you have my opinion on the game, but it is it's good. It's good. I like it. So anyway, guys, once again, thank you for watching. And as of course, I'll see you in the next one. Laters.